Welcome back Year 11s, it's Miss Carter again with another tutorial video to talk you through your homework this week. Today we're going to cover question 2 on English language, paper 2. This is known as the summary question, where we're linking source A and source B, usually thinking about the similarities and differences between the sources. And our steps to success here were calling that the points of connection between the sources. As you know, this question is worth 8 marks. We recommend that you spend 15 minutes on this question. That involves 5 minutes to read source B and 10 minutes to write up your answer. Don't forget that you would have already read source A earlier in order to answer question 1, true and false, and question 3, the language analysis question. If you haven't already read source B about London in the snow, then please pause the video and read it now. Now that we've read both texts, we need to look at the question on what it's asking us to do. Question two says that we need to use source A and source B for this question. This shows us that we know we have to make links between the two sources. The question continues. The effects of the weather on people in both sources are very different. We need to use details from both sources to write a summary of the different ways that people are affected by the weather. A summary is an overview of what happens in the text. And the question is asking us about how the weather has affected people in certain ways. You will already be making links because you've already read the text. So you'll already know that in text A, the storm is very life-threatening and fatal. Whereas in source B, the effects of the snow in London are more peaceful. We will also need inference for question two. So we need to be able to say what the text suggests about weather and natural environments. When I look back at text A, I can see that the effect of the storm, the effect of the weather, is very dangerous. Here it says that the storm was far more dangerous than any other storm that had hit us, the climbers, in the eight weeks we've been there. It also says that this was a night from hell, which shows that the storm was very dangerous. The storm also took control and the mountains disappeared from view. The storm here made it very hard to see, made this a very terrifying situation. As you can see up here, the sight of the storm fixed the climber to the spot, which shows that this storm was unexpected and a surprise. It suggests that the climbers were exposed and not fully prepared. Towards the end, there's a strong image of climbers having to fight for their lives. There's a sense created that this was a near death and sometimes fatal experience. Whereas source B is very different. Source B describes London in the 1800s in the snow. It's much more calm. It's about how beautiful London was in the snow. It's described as charming. It's presented as a very peaceful scene when the streets were transformed and all the traffic, except people walking on foot, was stopped. The snow is described as exquisite and beautiful. The effect is a sense of awe and nostalgia very different to the sense of panic created in text A. So let's write up these ideas. We have 10 minutes to do this and I will start with a quick plan. So on my writing paper, I'll put that we have text A, that's Everest, you don't want to get them wrong, and text B, London. And we are thinking about 
how people are affected by the weather. So one effect here in source A is that people die. In contrast, people just feel very cold in text B. In text A, one of the effects is panic. Whereas in text B, the sense people feel peaceful and nostalgic. I'd say another effect is people feeling scared or frightened in text A. Whereas in contrast, we've got a sense of awe at the beauty of the London snow in text B. It's then time to write up our answer. I'm going to do one point of connection today for you guys to copy and then you guys are going to do a second point of connection on your own. I will start with a topic sentence which uses the words from the question. So in source A, the climbers on Everest are affected by the weather in a terrifying way. Now I need some evidence. The storm is described and I look at what I've highlighted as hell and as dangerous. And the climbers, even experienced climbers, faced a frightening night. Now my inference. This suggests that the climbers were in extreme danger and some were affected in a fatal way. I'm going to develop this a bit more by saying when the mountain disappeared from view, the climbers would have felt panic and unsure if they would escape alive. Okay, so that is my inference. It doesn't say directly in the text that they're feeling panicked. I am inferring that from what the text does tell me. We now need to connect to source B. We need to use a discourse marker to show that we know the two texts are different. So I'm going to go with in contrast. Then I summarise Text B. Source B describes snowfall. On to my next page. In London in the 1800s. The weather is not dangerous. like it is in source A. Instead, it affects people by bringing a sense of 
awe and pleasure. They enjoy the snow. The snow covered streets are described as, and now I go in to source B, choosing my adjectives as beautiful and charming, I can say. which shows that the snow has a positive effect on people. They found the snow to be a stunning surprise and now make a connection to text A whereas the storm in source A was a dangerous surprise. Now if you're aiming for more than half marks on this question then you're going to need another connected paragraph I'd like you now to pause the video to use my plan from before and to write up a second connective paragraph. Good luck. Then, to reach the higher marks like we want you guys to do, we want you guys to write a perceptive answer. This means that at the end we want you to zoom out to make some inferences about both texts, about a wider topic. So today we're thinking about weather, all weather. I'm going to finish by saying from both, another comparative word here, from both sources, we learn that weather can be unpredictable. And then sometimes that's in a terrifying way and sometimes that's in a fun and pleasant way. And then my Final remarks in source A, the weather is life-threatening whereas in source B, the snowfall is a mild in on venience. A clear difference there to end. Once you've finished with your homework, submit it to your teacher on the day that they specified and then join me next week for another video on question three on this paper. Thank you. Goodbye.